Hey, what's up everybody? David from Pro Duo Flippers here. Uh, today I'm going to put together a video that's going to talk about higher price items selling on eBay. So I'm just going to kind of go through and show you some of the uh, higher price items that are $100 or higher that have sold for me over the past few weeks. I'm not going to show you every single one, but there's going to be quite a few. There's going to, I think there's going to be 14 of them. And so I'll just kind of talk about each item, where I got it, maybe how much I paid, how much how much fees were, or how much it sold for, how much fees were, shipping, how much I paid for it, and then profit. So just kind of give you an idea of some items to look out for, maybe uh, that'll bring you a higher profit and get your average sale price higher, right? So um, let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, so the first one I sold, and these are going to kind of be in reverse chronicle order, order as far as like when I sold them, uh, mostly. I think there might be one or two that are out of order here, but... Anyway, doesn't that doesn't really matter, I guess. So recently, I the first the most recent thing that sold for hundred dollars was yesterday. I sold a a vintage T-shirt. It was Marilyn Manson uh, vintage T-shirt. It was not in good shape. It was faded. It had some holes in it, and I mentioned that in the description and showed that in the pictures. Uh, and it still sold for ninety nine ninety nine. So that's going to be the lowest price on these is ninety nine ninety nine. That's just how I price my items that are at a hundred dollars. So it sold for that for ninety nine ninety nine. So that was a great sale. Um, fees on that were and I'm just going to kind of do a thirteen percent use thirteen percent as what the fees were. So and these are all on eBay. Uh, so I paid thirteen dollars in fees on that one. Shipping I haven't shipped that one yet. That's going to go out probably Monday. Uh, it'll be it should be first class uh, i'm just going to say shipping was probably five dollars i don't know if it'll be 12 ounces or more um, if it's more than 12 ounces it'll be 565 or 573 or something like that if it's less than 12 ounces it maybe it'll be 473 or something anyway five dollars uh so how much did i pay for this so this shirt along with some others were purchased at the auction in a lot so it was all uh rock star like rock band type shirts this is it was my first venture into buying some vintage t-shirts i don't really do those usually and but anyway i paid 80 dollars for this lot so that might sound like a lot but this is just what the first shirt that sold uh there are a few others i don't expect to make a ton of money off this lot but i broke even with this first shirt pretty much so uh and the rest of the shirts that sell will be profit i know i've already listed a few that are in the 30 to 40 dollar range um and then a couple that were uh, two or three that were lower than that. So I imagine I'll probably end up profiting around a little over 100 or something off that one lot. So maybe I, I spent 80, maybe I'll profit 120 off that lot. So that's the first one. Uh, the next one is was also purchased at the same auction. Um, this one was kind of a nice surprise. I purchased a lot. Well, I'll just go ahead and show you what it is. So it's this uh, crucifix. This vintage, kind of vintage crucifix, it lights up, like it's just, uh, hangs on the wall and it's mirrored, but if you turn on the light, if you turn off the lights in the house and turn on the light on this, then you can see the crucifix through the, through the mirror. Uh, so pretty cool, it's a little bit different. It did have the brand name on there, which, which always helps. So I wasn't sure what to list this. There was no exact comps like this, um, but I listed it at 100. 120 I'm just and, and these sold prices are just including shipping so 120 basically and it sold it in either the same day or in one day I think it sold the same day I listed it uh, same as that Marilyn Manson shirt so uh, I purchased this one at the auction as well I only paid five dollars for this lot and I did not even buy it for that like I saw that like I could only see the pictures of what's online um, I didn't really I didn't see any of this stuff in person so I can only see what as good as their pictures are so I saw that there was some uh, religious kind of decor but the pieces that I saw weren't really worth anything I was mostly just buying it for the religious books there was some Bibles and some other kind of books in there and um, nothing looked too promising but I figured at five dollars I would make some money somebody had bid two dollars and fifty cents I just bid one time after that I wasn't even gonna go any higher and that was in there so that was awesome and also in there was two other crucifixes I've, I've listed already one uh, for twenty dollars and it sold it was a small one just like a, a brass four inch brass one and then also there was a bigger brass one that I listed for 35 it hasn't sold yet so and I haven't even got to the books yet so that's pretty that was a great lot on that one so I'm already at ninety dollars a profit just off of this one thing and I still have all the other things from the lot so uh, auctions can be great check them out check out local auctions in your area 
Uh, I spent a lot at this auction. I spent $900 total. I had to take two trips in my truck to fill up the whole truck bed with the capper shell on it and the cab of the truck. Uh, so I bought a lot of stuff at this auction. Um, so the next one I got, next one I'm going to show you is Pendleton jacket. Um, these are, do really well, usually, especially depending on the design. So this one had kind of three things going for it. One is the Pendleton. Two, uh, wool jackets do really well. And three, just the Aztec design does does fairly well too. So um, all together, $165 for shipping, with shipping. Uh, that's a great sale. Um, fees on this one were $21.45. Shipping was $8.73. Um, as far as what I pay for this, I bought this, I don't remember exactly, but it's, I think I paid about $80 at, at the auction. This was in a lot and it had a few other jackets with it. So, um, I don't really know what the profit is on this one. I, I think I'm, I'm well into a profit already of maybe, uh, I would say about $50 or so just off this one jacket. And then the other jackets will be profit after that. Uh, I forgot to mention the fees and the shipping on the crucifix one. So that one did cost, so it sold for $120. Uh, fees on that were fifteen dollars and sixty cents. Uh, shipping was nine dollars and nineteen cents, and so the profit on that one was ninety dollars with all the other stuff rest, less to sell. So, on to the next one. Number four is this piece of equipment that I don't even know what it is. So, uh, oftentimes at auctions and other places, I buy stuff and I don't really know what it is. I but I look it up, and if it's worth money, then I buy it. So. Uh, this was also bought at auction. I, I believe it had a few, two or three other pieces with it all in one lot, but I really can't remember. What I do know is I bought, I brought all three of these pieces, three pieces in recently from the garage that have been sitting there for quite a while and listed them and all three have sold. This one was the best of the one. I think the other two sold for like, uh, I think 70 and 90 for the other two pieces. But anyway, this one is an Afix Oral Exciter. I don't know what it is. I know it's some some type of pro audio equipment, um, and that stuff can go, can go fairly well. So this one sold for one hundred fifteen dollars, and I, I should say that all three of those pieces I brought in from the garage sold within one week. So um, a little bit of motivation for me to get the stuff in the, that I have in my garage listed, right? So anyway, sold for one fifteen. Fees were fourteen ninety five. Shipping was ten eighty nine. And I can't tell you what I paid for this, so I really don't remember. But I, I know I looked up comps at the time, and I'm, I, I want to say I probably paid anywhere between, if it was just this one item, maybe as much as $30. If it was all three items, maybe as much as $60 or $80. But I really don't remember on this one. Uh, so ne next one, Sony Handycam. So this one uh, sold for $150. Uh, fees were $19.50. Shipping was $9.61. And I believe I paid $40 for this one. So I found this at an estate sale. Uh, I asked the lady running it how much she wanted for it. And I think she told me 50. And I, I wasn't really interested in it at 50, but I, I thought, well, let's just look it up and see. I looked it up and, and prices looked like they would go from anywhere between 100, 100 to 160 or so. Uh, I kind of walked around and thought about it, bought some other stuff. I ended up going back in for this and getting it. For, and asked her if she'd take 40, she would said yes. So that ended up being a great buy. So 150 um, minus all that, minus the fees, shipping, and the purchase price, and I still profited $80. So that's a great profit. All right, so the next one, number six, fish. this fish mount. I got these, so I buy all kinds of stuff. I, if it looks like it might be worth selling, I look it up. So uh, I got this and one other fish mount at the, th at the thrift store. Uh, one of them sold really fast for a similar price. Uh, this one I've had for, uh, I'd say, th a few months at least now. And it's just been on eBay, and I've just been letting it sit there until somebody else, till the right person came along, I guess. So anyway, with shipping, this one sold for $125. Fees were $16.25. Shipping was $22.51. Uh, kind of big and bulky. And then I, I paid $7 for this, and I paid $7 for the other one too. So uh, pretty so. Almost eighty dollars in profit, seventy nine twenty three in profit, is what I what I've got figured here. So, uh, and and similar profit on the other one too. It was the other one was a little bit smaller, so I think maybe the shipping might have been a little bit cheaper on that one. But so basically, off those two two mounted fish, one hundred sixty dollars in profit. So that was a good one. All right, next one uh, is exhaust these exhaust valves. So and these ones were um, so I bought years ago. I think it's probably been. 
two and a half or maybe three and a half years ago, I bought a huge, huge lot of, of uh, car parts, uh, older car parts. A lot of them were for cars that were from the 60s or 70s or even some from the 50s, I think. But um, anyway, I every once in a while, we'll pull out a couple boxes of these parts and, and list them. They're not fun to list. They're kind of, you know, dirty. They've been, they were sitting in a shop for years, I'm sure. Uh, so they kind of get the table dirty, they get your hands dirty, and a lot of them don't sell for a lot of money because they're, so, they're for such older vehicles that there's just not demand for them. But um, I pulled out some of these ones and they were the brand Manly, and apparently they are higher end for heavy duty uses or whatever. I, I really don't even know what these what these go to, but I listed the, the took pictures and listed them, listed the part numbers, and these ones sold fairly quickly for $99.99. Uh, fees was $13. Shipping was $7.91. I can't tell you how much I paid for them because I bought a lot of them and I've been selling them for years. Um, I do know at the same time I listed another set that sold for $89.99 and then I sold two individual valves for $14.99. Um, and so, you know, a couple hundred dollars there in sales that have just been sitting in my garage like so, so many other things. All right, let's move on to number eight. Uh, another auction purchase here is these uh, Monty Flag pastel, they're not even prints, they're originals, they're actual pastel, uh, whatever you call them, paintings or drawings, I guess. Um, so these sold for $99.99. Uh, they sold fairly quickly. I think they sold it within a couple weeks or, or even or maybe a little bit less. But fees, $13. Shipping was $8.73. And I believe I paid about $30 for the pair of these. I'm, I'm not, not certain on that. It could have been somewhere, or could have been between $20 and $30. Um, but that makes for about a $48 profit, uh, pretty good profit. And this, again, if I didn't say that was at it was purchased at the auction. Um, so maybe I'm starting to see a trend here that my higher price items that I, that are selling are picked up mostly from the auction. Anyway, so moving on number nine. So this Sony 300 disc changer, again, but purchased at the auction, um, sold for $225. That includes shipping. Uh, the fees were $29.25. Shipping, this is a pretty big, heavy item. Shipping was $36.01. And and I can't tell you how much I paid for it. Um, I, if I had to guess, I would say between $40 and $50 or so at the auction. Um, but I really don't remember. So I'd, I'd have to dig out my paperwork and go figure it out. I could if I wanted to. But um, anyway, for, for the sake of time, uh, I'm just going to tell you I don't know how much I paid for it. But I'm sure... I, I made a really good profit off of that item. Uh, it was at an auction that I bought a ton of audio equipment, um, and most of it is still not listed. So, I mean, I'm talking like I brought home like maybe eight to ten home subwoofers. I bought like maybe four or five, six uh, receivers, a bunch of like CD players like this, DVD players, VCRs. I, I don't know. It was from a wealthy house, like an estate sale or something, and they just were really into audio stuff. And so um, I bought a lot of the, almost all of the audio equipment that was there. And even had, a, had an additional piece given to me because somebody, it was under the bed and somebody who bought the bed didn't want it. So I still have that speaker in my garage. I expect to get at least $100 for that speaker. But anyway, moving on. Next item is this vintage Patagonia fleece. Um, Maybe most of you know that Patagonia does really well. If you can find a vintage piece that displays the Patagonia logo, then you're going to be doing even better. Uh, anyway, this one sold for $130. Fees were $16.90. Shipping was $8.27. And I picked this up at the thrift store for $8. So profit on this one was $96.82. Great profit. And it only took, I think it took a few weeks to sell because it was a higher priced one. But um, I could have priced it cheaper and it probably would have sold the same day. All right, next one, another thrift store find is where's these Coughlock, if I'm saying that right, Coughlock uh, mountaineering boots. Uh, mountaineering boots are super expensive if you buy them new. So if you ever see them at the thrift store, um, know that they're probably going to sell for a decent amount of money. But anyway, these ones were in pretty good shape. They're a little bit scraped up, but not too bad. So they sold for $158 with shipping. Uh, fees were $20.54. And shipping was $18.83. So I have these boxes that I've bought online. They are 16 by 12 by 10. I hope I'm saying that right. I think that's right. 16 by 12 by 10. And I use them to ship all kinds of stuff. Um, I use them to ship 
big bulky boots like this or rollerblades or, or our hockey skates or I can't I, I think I originally bought these bought these boxes because I had some Kango jumps which are like you wear them while you're exercising and then they have like this big spring on the bottom of them and you can kind of jump while you're doing it anyway I had bought 10 pairs of those at a at a gym that didn't want them anymore anyway and those did really well but anyway so so they sold for 158 and fees were 2054 shipping was 1883 I paid eight dollars for these at the thrift store so great profit on these 110 dollars and 62 cents so love finding stuff like that uh, next one we're getting down to, towards the bottom here here's number 12 is uh, this Viterville village so this these are, these are really cool village houses that were made out of stained glass. I picked these up at a yard sale. Uh, I paid, there was a whole bunch of them, a whole set of them. I looked, I looked one or two of them up and, and they look like they were, and you can see the price that it sold for. I, I believe this was one of the, the highest priced ones that sold, but um, the lady told me she wanted 130. She really didn't want to go any much lower than that because they're worth a lot of money. And I told her I'd take them. I wasn't going to dig her with her because I knew there was some money there. So I, anyway, this one sold for 180. Uh, fees on it were twenty three forty. Shipping was seventeen dollars and twelve cents. And like I said, I paid one hundred and thirty dollars for this lot. I have sold all, all of almost everything except for I have one piece left that's one hundred fifty dollar pri price. Um, but I have six hundred thirty dollars in sales so far. So um, I'm pretty sure I made two or three hundred plus on this w when it's all said and done. All right. So number thirteen, we have these. I have this. This is one of my favorite kind of finds, uh, and it's just as some, finding something little. The, these last two are both both purchased at thrift stores for next to nothing and sold for a great price. So this one is uh, a water heater control board. It was new in the in the little box. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I pulled it out. I found a part number on it. I looked it up, and lo and behold, it sold for $120. It only took a, a week or two to sell. Uh, fees were $15.60. Small, lightweight, sold for shipped first class for five ninety five. I paid two dollars for this at the yards at the thrift store. I'm I'm sure plenty of people walked right past it and never even looked at it. Anyway, one of my favorite. I mean, super easy to list, super easy to ship, very cheap to buy, and a great profit. So that's like everything you want, in my opinion, for when you're outsourcing. I so profit on that was ninety six dollars and forty four cents, and I only paid two dollars. The next one. Uh, even better uh, and this was just found recently and it sold I think within one day um, and so and I know a lot of other resellers were in their store who had walked right past it and I'm sure I do the same thing I probably walk right past stuff all the time too but um, anyway this so it's this mead controller it's a controller for some kind for like a telescope or something I really don't know I really don't care that much either so what I do know is it sold for $150 in like a day or two uh, fees on it were nineteen dollars and fifty cents. Shipping first class again four twenty four thirty three. Sorry, and then I paid one dollar for this. Uh, the people at the thrift store, I'm sure, had no idea what it was, and it looked like it was just part of a, something that wasn't complete. So they listed it at a, they priced it at a dollar. I picked it up, looked it up, and bought it. So profit of one hundred twenty five dollars and sixty one cents, and turned around and sold within a day or two. So. Uh, one, like I said, favorite kind of thing to buy. So that's it. Um, I guess I just wanted to show you some higher price items that, you know, it's just kind of, I have an idea of what can be worth more money and things to look out for when you're sourcing. Um, I'm trying to find more and more of these high price items because, and even like I, like I said before, if I have to pay up for it, I don't mind paying $40 for something that's going to end up profit me, profiting $80. I would much rather do that than find something for $5 that's going to profit me $5. So I try to find more and more of these so that I can make more profit per transaction. So it's basically the same amount of work as doing anything else, but you're making, you know, 60, 50, 80, or a hundred dollars in some cases, as opposed to five or $10. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll respond to them. Um, just keep an eye out for anything and just be curious when you're at, when you're outsourcing or when you're looking online at an auction or whatever. Just look stuff up. Take the time to look stuff, look stuff up. I feel like that is uh, probably one of my 
one of the things I do the, do the best that results in success for me is that I'm just always looking for uh, items to, I'm just always curious and looking things up. So anyway, like, comment, share if you can. Please subscribe. Uh, I, I want to keep putting out this content and uh, helping you guys out with uh, your reselling and uh, just giving you a little inspiration, a little motivation, a few tips or whatever. So anyway, thanks for you guys' time.